the campus itself is probably one of the most beautiful campuses uh, in Harbin at least. Uh, the buildings themselves have a mix between uh, sort of Eastern culture, but you really do feel Western influences in there as well. In applying to a university in a different country, you're always going to get that feeling of being nervous and some confusion. Uh, when you do decide to apply, you can also email uh, someone, a representative for the university who will further help you uh, with the steps that you need to take to apply to the university. Uh, but I remember not being able to read a single character, actually, because when you study Chinese, the, the language is so cryptic in its nature, and when you finally put pieces together and start to understand uh, Chinese, you, you do really get a massive sense of achievement that is different to other languages, that is different to other subjects. Being the famous ice city in northeastern China, Harbin attracts visitors from home and abroad by the Harbin Ice and Snow Festival it holds each year. It is a happy carnival which provides visitors a whole new world of ice and snow. Harbin is known throughout China to be one of the coldest places to live. To be honest with you, as an overseas student, it really sounded scary at first. So I got here and experienced a totally different reality altogether. At the moment, I would like to think of winter as some kind of celebration other than an ordinary season, and I enjoy every bit of it, right from when the first snow touches the ground till the last bit melts away. In this amazing city, every drop of snow and drastic freezing temperatures comes the chance to meet up with friends and make the most amazing memories. As girls, we like to take advantage of the season to actually go shopping. The school location itself makes it very convenient to have all your shopping needs right at your disposal. We've got easy access to banks, ATMs and shopping malls, both within and around campus. The bus system, subways and affordable taxes also makes our movement a lot easier. And coming from the tropics, we also don't get stuck indoors because there's a lot going on during this period. Being snowboarding, visiting the Songhot River, taking part of the snow sculpture competition and even visiting the famous ice city. The one thing that comes second to my study in SEU is getting an in-depth knowledge of Chinese culture. SEU is the perfect spot if any student hoping to have this experience. Right at the entrance of the school, there is a Confucius Center where students can visit for free. The school has made provision for Chinese traditional instrument learning, calligraphy and much more. If any student wishing to mix things up a little bit, there is also a classical piano classes for anyone interested. Uh, the dormitory is a 13-story block uh, that has hallways running down each floor with doors on each side. They have, especially for things like Dragon Boat Festival and other Chinese festivals, uh, teachers will often come and um, bring the students through how to prepare certain traditional dishes and have certain cooking lessons. And that's been a real help. That's been something that I feel that our, our school provides more of a cultural experience for, for each of the students. If I could summarize my experience living in the foreign student dormitory, I'd have to say it was one of learning. Uh, when I first arrived, it was hard for me to make friends. It was a time of adjusting, but the apartment really made me feel warm and welcome, and I was able to meet people of like-mindedness and study and play sports and have all kinds of activities with the new friends that I've made at the dormitory. I felt no desire to get my own apartment, but I felt like being a student, having the identity of a student, it's best to stay in the foreign student dormitory where I could study, focus, and feel like I was really part of the university. Harbin Engineering University is the place where all your personal needs, regardless of your background, are met. There are grocery stores, both within and out of campus, where you can uh, get your raw food and vegetable supplies, and you can cook your own meal under the most hygienic conditions in the dormitory kitchen. The school dining hall is one other good alternative if you don't want to spend time cooking. Within dining hall are sections where you can be served on your table for other special needs. It's also a great place to meet new friends and just have a good time. I can't particularly think of anything that has not well provided in ICU. I guess that's the biggest reason why the school is so popular among even students from other universities in the province. 
Located on the eastern side of HEU campus, enclosed areas of training, research, and experiments. The library consists of six and one basement floor, with total area of about 50,000 square meters. Currently, HEU has more than 283,770,000 books and subscribes to 1,700 different periodicals in both Chinese and foreign languages each year.